picture a world where the constant chatter of opinions, judgments and expectations surrounds us like a dense fog, obscuring our path and clouding our minds. In this chaotic landscape, it's easy to feel lost, overwhelmed and disconnected from our true selves. But what if there was a way to navigate it through the noise and find clarity, peace and purpose? Enter the ancient wisdom of Stoicism and the art of ignoring. The benefits of ignoring go far beyond personal development. When we learn to selectively tune out the noise of the world, we open ourselves up to a wealth of possibilities. We can strengthen our autonomy, build deeper relationships, enhance our creativity and productivity, and find a profound sense of inner peace. Through the practice of ignoring, we become the architects of our own lives, shaping our destiny with each deliberate choice. Get ready to discover the art of ignoring and the wisdom of the ages. Your path to a better, more fulfilling life starts now. Strengthening Autonomy Imagine a life where your every decision is influenced by the opinions of others, where your actions are dictated by societal pressures and expectations. It's a suffocating existence, one that leaves little room for personal growth and self-discovery. But what if there was a way to break free from these external controls and forge your own path? The answer lies in the stoic principle of strengthening autonomy through the art of ignoring. Picture the great stoic philosopher Epictetus, born a slave in ancient Rome. Despite his circumstances, he refused to let his external conditions define him. Instead, he focused on cultivating his inner freedom, his ability to choose his own thoughts and actions regardless of his situation. This is the essence of stoic autonomy, the recognition that true power lies within ourselves, not in the hands of others. By ignoring the external influences that seek to control us, we can tap into this inner power and assert our own will. We can make decisions based on our own reasoning and values, rather than being swayed by the ever-changing tides of public opinion. Ignoring the noise of societal pressures and expectations allows us to shape our own identity and purpose, free from the constraints of conformity. But strengthening autonomy through ignoring isn't about shutting ourselves off from the world entirely. Rather, it's about being selective in what we allow to influence us. We can choose to engage with ideas and feedback that align with our values and goals while filtering out the rest. By curating our influences, we create space for personal growth and self-discovery. So how can we put this principle into practice? Start by taking a step back and examining the external forces that shape your decisions and beliefs. Are they truly aligned with your authentic self, or are you simply conforming to the expectations of others? Once you've identified these influences, practice setting boundaries and saying no to the things that don't serve your personal growth. Remember, strengthening autonomy is a continuous process, one that requires patience and self-awareness. But with each small act of ignoring, you'll be taking a step closer to a life of true self-determination. As you continue on this journey, you'll find that the opinions of others hold less sway over your choices and actions. You'll be guided by your own inner compass, resilient in the face of external pressures. In the next section, we'll explore how this stoic principle can lead to a profound sense of inner peace and contentment. Stay tuned to discover the secrets of tranquility in a chaotic world. Inner Peace and Tranquility Have you ever felt like you're caught in a whirlwind of chaos? Your mind constantly bombarded by worries, stresses and external pressures? It's a familiar feeling in our fast-paced, hyper-connected world where finding moments of true peace and tranquility can seem like an impossible task. But what if we told you that the key to inner peace lies not in changing your external circumstances, but in learning to ignore them? 
the Stoics understood that true happiness and contentment come from within, not from the fleeting pleasures of the outside world. They believed that by focusing on what is within our control, our thoughts, attitudes and actions, we can cultivate a deep sense of inner peace, even in the face of adversity. And one of the most powerful tools for achieving this state of tranquility is the art of ignoring. Imagine a serene pond, its surface perfectly still and reflective. Now picture a stone being thrown into the water, creating ripples that disrupt the tranquility. The external world is like that stone, constantly casting disturbances into our lives. But by learning to ignore these disturbances, we can maintain our inner stillness, just like the pond eventually returns to its calm state. The Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, even as the Emperor of Rome, understood the importance of ignoring external distractions. In his personal journals, he wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. By recognizing that our inner world is the only thing truly within our control, we can learn to let go of our attachment to external outcomes and find peace in the present moment. But ignoring isn't about turning a blind eye to the world around us. Rather, it's about developing the wisdom to discern between what is truly important and what is merely noise. It's about focusing our energy and attention on the things that align with our values and contribute to our personal growth while letting go of the rest. By cultivating this selective attention, we create space for inner peace to flourish. So how can we put this principle into practice? Start by taking a step back and observing your thoughts and reactions to external events. When you find yourself getting caught up in the chaos of the outside world, take a deep breath and remind yourself that you have the power to choose your response. Instead of getting swept away by the current of external distractions, focus your attention inward on your own thoughts and attitudes. As you continue to practice this art of ignoring, you'll find that your inner world becomes a sanctuary of peace and tranquility. You'll be less reactive to the ups and downs of life and more grounded in your own sense of purpose and values. And with this newfound inner peace, you'll be better equipped to navigate the challenges of the external world with grace and resilience. Building Inner Strength and Resilience Life is full of challenges, setbacks and obstacles that can test our mettle and leave us feeling discouraged or overwhelmed. But what if we told you that the key to overcoming these challenges lies not in avoiding them, but in learning to ignore them? This may sound counterintuitive, but it's a core principle of Stoic philosophy, one that can help us build the inner strength and resilience we need to thrive in the face of adversity. The Stoics understood that true strength comes from within, from our ability to control our thoughts, attitudes and responses to external events. They believed that by focusing on what is within our power, rather than worrying about what is beyond our control, we can develop the mental fortitude and adaptability we need to weather any storm. And one of the most effective ways to cultivate this inner strength is through the practice of ignoring. Imagine a sturdy oak tree, its roots deep and its trunk thick. When a fierce storm blows through, the tree may bend and sway, but it remains standing tall, its roots holding firm. In the same way, when we learn to ignore the external distractions and pressures that threaten to knock us down, we can tap into our own inner reserves of strength and resilience. Take the example of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who faced numerous hardships throughout his life, including being born into slavery and living with a disability. Despite these challenges, he remained steadfast in his commitment to personal growth and inner peace. He famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By learning to ignore the external circumstances he couldn't control, Epictetus was able to focus on developing his own character and resilience. 
So how can we apply this principle in our own lives? Start by identifying the external factors that tend to trigger stress, anxiety, or self-doubt. These might include criticism from others, setbacks at work, or in our personal lives, or even our own negative self-talk. Once you've identified these triggers, practice observing them objectively, without getting caught up in the emotional reactions they provoke. As you continue to practice this art of ignoring, you'll find that your inner strength and resilience begin to grow. You'll be less reactive to the ups and downs of life and more grounded in your own sense of purpose and values. And with this newfound resilience, you'll be better equipped to handle whatever challenges come your way with grace and determination. Remember, building inner strength and resilience is a process, one that requires patience, self-awareness and a willingness to step outside your comfort zone. But with each small act of ignoring, you'll be taking a step closer to a life of unshakable inner peace and strength. So embrace the power of ignoring and watch as your resilience blossoms like a flower in the midst of adversity. Enhancing focus, productivity and creativity. In a world filled with endless distractions and competing demands for our attention, it can be all too easy to lose sight of our goals and passions. We may find ourselves getting caught up in the hustle and bustle of daily life, our focus scattered and our productivity waning. But what if there was a way to cut through the noise and tap into our deepest reserves of focus, productivity and creativity? Enter the art of ignoring, a powerful tool for enhancing our mental clarity and performance. The Stoics recognized that true productivity and creativity come not from trying to do everything at once, but from focusing our energy and attention on the things that matter most. They understood that by learning to ignore the endless stream of distractions and demands that vie for our attention, we can create the space and clarity we need to pursue our goals and passions with single-minded focus. As Seneca, one of the great Stoic philosophers, once said, to be everywhere is to be nowhere. Imagine a sculptor chiseling away at a block of marble. With each precise strike of the hammer, the artist chips away at the excess stone, gradually revealing the masterpiece within. In the same way, when we learn to ignore the extraneous distractions and demands that clutter our minds, we can unveil our own inner masterpieces, our deepest insights, our most creative ideas, and our most meaningful work. But how can we put this principle into practice in our own lives? Start by identifying the tasks and activities that are most essential to your goals and values. These might include work projects, creative pursuits, or personal growth activities. Once you've identified these priorities, practice creating dedicated time and space for them in your schedule, free from distractions and interruptions. As you work on these tasks, practice maintaining a laser-like focus, letting go of any thoughts or worries that threaten to pull you off course. If your mind starts to wander, Gently bring your attention back to the present moment and the task at hand. Over time, you'll find that your ability to concentrate and stay focused begins to strengthen, like a muscle that grows with regular exercise. But the benefits of ignoring go beyond just productivity. By creating space for deep, uninterrupted focus, we also open ourselves up to new insights and creative breakthroughs. When we allow our minds to fully engage with a problem or idea, without the constant pull of distractions, we create the conditions for eureka moments and innovative solutions. So embrace the power of ignoring and watch as your focus, productivity and creativity soar to new heights. Remember, it's not about doing more, but about doing what matters most with presence, purpose and passion. By learning to ignore the noise and focus on the essential, 
you'll be well on your way to unlocking your full potential and achieving your deepest goals and dreams. Cultivating deeper relationships. In a world where we're more connected than ever, it's ironic that so many of us feel disconnected and unfulfilled in our relationships. We may have hundreds of friends on social media, but how many of those connections truly nourish our souls and help us grow? The truth is, cultivating deep, meaningful relationships requires more than just surface-level interactions. It requires us to be selective in who we give our time and energy to and to ignore the relationships that drain us or hold us back. The Stoics understood that the quality of our relationships has a profound impact on the quality of our lives. They believed that by surrounding ourselves with people who challenge us to be our best selves, who support us in our personal growth and share our values, we can create a life of meaning and purpose. But in order to attract and maintain these kinds of relationships, we must first learn to ignore the relationships that don't serve us. Imagine a garden filled with a variety of plants and flowers. Some of these plants are vibrant and thriving, their roots deep and their blooms abundant. Others are wilted and struggling, their growth stunted by weeds and lack of nourishment. In the same way, our relationships can either help us flourish or hold us back. By learning to ignore the relationships that drain our energy and focus on the ones that help us grow, we create the conditions for true connection and intimacy. But how can we put this principle into practice in our own lives? Start by taking an honest inventory of your current relationships. Which ones leave you feeling energized, inspired and supported? Which ones leave you feeling drained, depleted or held back? Once you've identified the relationships that are no longer serving you, practice setting boundaries and saying no to interactions that don't align with your values and goals. At the same time, invest your energy in the relationships that truly matter, the ones that challenge you to be your best self, that support you in your personal growth and that share your values and passions. Make time for deep, meaningful conversations and shared experiences. Practice vulnerability and authenticity, letting go of the need to impress or perform. As you continue to cultivate these deeper relationships, you'll find that your connections become more fulfilling and nourishing. You'll have a support system of people who truly see and appreciate you and who inspire you to keep growing and evolving. And as you learn to ignore the relationships that don't serve you, you'll create space for new, more aligned connections to enter your life. Remember, cultivating deeper relationships is a lifelong practice, one that requires patience, self-awareness and a willingness to let go of what no longer serves you. But with each small act of ignoring, you'll be taking a step closer to a life filled with true connection intimacy and meaning. So embrace the power of ignoring and watch as your relationships blossom and thrive like a well-tended garden. As we come to the end of our exploration of the art of ignoring through the lens of Stoic philosophy, let us take a moment to reflect on the profound wisdom we've uncovered. We've seen how the practice of selective ignoring can help us strengthen our autonomy, cultivate inner peace and resilience, enhance our focus and creativity, and deepen our relationships with others. By learning to let go of the distractions and pressures that pull us away from our true path, we create a space for a life of purpose, meaning, and joy. As we close this chapter, we invite you to reflect on your own journey with the art of ignoring. What distractions or pressures have been holding you back from living a life of purpose and meaning? What relationships or activities might you need to let go of in order to create space for growth and transformation? And what small steps can you take, starting today, to cultivate a more intentional, focused and fulfilling life? Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery and transformation. Until next time, 
Keep focusing on what matters most. Let go of the rest with grace and ease and stay with the Creator.